True mental toughness is the ability to keep taking action when all hope seems lost. Welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show, where we'll be discussing leadership, business, human potential, inspiring you to live rich from the inside out, Unlock your creativity, stretch out of your comfort zone, break through your barriers, take inspired action, and achieve epic results. Now here's your host, three-time best-selling author, speaker, and certified executive coach, Deborah Kozowski. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Millionaire Woman Show. I'm your host, Deborah Kozowski, and I am excited that you're here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about anchoring your day. Now, when you put an anchor in the ground, you are solidifying, you're stabilizing, you're setting up the concretes of the day. And what are you doing before breakfast? What are you doing to dominate your day so that you know that it's gonna flow with ease and you feel successful, you feel in control, you feel like everything is gonna work out exactly how you would like it to be. Now, you know, people think about, anchoring your day, how does that even start? But you've heard of things that are like the 5 a.m. club with Robin Sharma, you've probably heard about you know people getting up earlier than they start their day. So Jock Wilk Wilco, he uh, puts his picture of his watch on Instagram, 4.30 every morning to show what time he gets up. It's an accountability thing. And then we have Dwayne Johnson, who I completely see as a role model. I love his energy. I love how grateful he is for everything in his life. And I just find that so appealing in a world where so many things could be focused on and he chooses gratitude for every single thing that he does. Now here's a gentleman who has diversified his uh, life into films, to businesses, to all these different things and is seizing the day early so he can get some of his basic things done. And, you know, when I think about setting up the day, people are like, 5 a.m., Deb? I just want to hit the snooze button. Can't I just sleep in? It just seems like it's such a luxury to sleep in. But I also find it a luxury to have that time where you're concentrated on taking care of you, setting up your day, and really making things happen. How powerful is that? I personally like waking up at that time because I can hear the white noise of some of the cars. Sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, hearing the birds chirping in the morning and sitting with a cup of tea and just thinking about my day and how it's going to unfold, maybe reading a book. Sometimes it's an early morning workout or a run. Now, that to me is incredible because one of the reasons is that I have the whole world to myself. And I remember, you know, getting to a pool at one time when it was 6 a.m., no one was there. And my first stroke in the water was like cutting into glass. I had the whole place to myself. And it's just such a special feeling, a time that you can zone in and get things done and make things happen. And there's no distractions. You eliminate all distractions. So it's very powerful. And those of you, again, thinking, oh, Deb, I just want to hit the snooze button. I challenge you to test it out. Test it out for, you know, at least 66 days before you shut things down because they say you know it takes that that like 21 days you know to uh really get habits in place and in motion but i seriously it's 90 days if you wanted to make a lifestyle but give it a shot just anticipate the feeling you know people struggle sometimes with the first 10 to 15 minutes but once they get going it's like oh how long has this been that I haven't done something like this? And I know when I haven't done it for a while, I was like, well, how do I get back to that, getting up that early? And what it takes is usually to reverse engineer. Let's say you usually getting up at six, get up at 545, you know, for a few days and then go to 530 to gradually get yourself to the space. But really, the time is arbitrary. Choose two to three hours before your optimum time of where you gotta be digging into things, making things happen in your world. So if you can give yourself that two to three hours time, so if you are someone, and recognize how much sleep you need. So if you're a person who needs eight out of hours of sleep and you're gonna get up at five, you're gonna go to bed at nine. So be realistic, making sure when you start and plan out your day, 
And I can already hear some of you planning, Deb. What happens to the spontaneity? You're giving me a structure of getting up at five. You're, you're you know, wanting me to really um, start planning my day. And I'm here to tell you that if having just some structure doesn't mean your structuring is so much that that spontaneity, spontaneity is gone, but it's a really about setting yourself up for success, giving yourself this framework per se, more than structure, to really be able to fit things in that are really important to you. So I want you to think about the time that you wanna get up and really plan out that time so you can gradually get in there with ease and make things happen. Now, once you do that, you can plan out the rest of your day. But here's the thing, I want you to choose three things to focus on and they're small things. People think, you know, I have to do all these big changes to get massive results. It's not true. What you need to do is make small changes, compound those changes, and that's where the magic happens. Because really, consistency is what leads to success. And in order to do that, you need to stay consistent with your practice and not fall off. So when you're choosing three things, these are three things that whether you do them perfectly or not, doesn't matter. This is all about progress. People get lost in the perfection of how things need to be done or should be done, and then they don't do it at all. So let me put your mind at ease. It's simple things like you're getting up and brushing your teeth. You're doing your morning hygiene. Uh, you're gonna go for a workout, as an example, and you are also going to, you know, make sure you eat breakfast so you don't skip breakfast. Simple routine. Three things. That's all it's going to take to help you set up for the day. Now, for some people, they might choose visualization. They might turn, choose journaling. They might choose that time for meditation and prayer, sitting in silence. Whatever it is for you, that's what matters. You're choosing to set up and plan what works for you. And these are just some examples of what people use. Now, Hal Elrod has a book called The Miracle Morning, and it has an acronym that he refers that this could be your lifesaver. So SAVERS, the acronym, S stands for silence, 10 minutes of silence. To put yourself without any distraction to just be. And I know people are like, panicking, I could already see them, you know, their hearts pounding, that silence, you're alone with your own thoughts. Well, here, I want you to remember thoughts are only thoughts. And as soon as you grab onto one, hook into it and ruminate over that thought, it can become a belief. But thoughts can come and go and just knowing that they're there. Then we have affirmation. This is that positive self-talk. You're going to prime your day. You're going to reassure yourself, give yourself that pep talk that you need to move forward and tackle some of those tough things and have the courage to live fully and face any fears that come up for you. Then we have V for visualization, visualizing that your day is going exactly how you want it to be. Then we have exercise, 10 minutes, getting those things done. R is reading, reading for 10 minutes, something nonfiction, something that helps you improve or grow in your industry. And S is for scribing, that is journaling, 10 minutes of journaling. Now, if you haven't figured it out already, all of these things are 10 minutes each. And I have to tell you when I've done it, it flies by so fast, you don't know where that hour went. So six 10 minute segments, giving you a condensed priming of the day. Now there's so many other structures that people come up with but I want you to choose what works for you. Test and trial some of these things and make them happen. And I'm like, okay, we talked about getting up in the morning earlier, or you know that two to three hours before you're out to the door, or what you're gonna dive into. And then having a framework per se, or a guideline for yourself with three things. Three things that you're going to set up your day, prime it, anchor it. Now when you think of an anchor, an anchor is a symbol of stability. It's a symbol of steadfastness, a strength, calm, composure. Now, if you entered your day with no anxieties, no fears, and had that composure and calmness and that zeroed in focus that you were heading into, you know, having everything unfold exactly how you want it or better, how would that feel for you? 
where you're not focused so hard on every single movement and hitting the snooze button, then getting up late and running out the door and feeling rushed and grabbing the coffee and grab, you know, throwing the kids in the car, you know, and getting, it's that rush, 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 rush. And how much easier would your day flow if you set yourself up by anchoring habits that are going to serve you, that they're going to help you build momentum through the day, compounding the consistent effort and making everything automatic. How empowered would you feel? And how can you dominate your day all before breakfast? Like I said, I love it to anchor my day by getting up early because I get to have the day unfold. I get to be up when the world is just awaking. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I would love for you to rate, subscribe, put a comment below of how you anchor your day and get things started. Now, if you're on YouTube, click the bell so you don't miss a single video. And again, put those comments below, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single video. And if you're on our, one of our favorite podcast players like iTunes, for example, rate, review and subscribe so you don't miss a single beat. Now, I'd love for you to go over to my website at www. I have a free gift for you there of making habits stick so we can build focus and consistency and make some of those dreams come true. As Muhammad Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And my wish for you as always is go out and make today great. Anchor it solid.